So this could be a nice little video, hopefully quick. Um, so I came home from work and this has arrived. I thought I would try the craft box. Um, I saw Pink Poodle Crafts do a review of a box. Um, it was a box in November, but it should have been sent in the October box. I think it was sort of like a, a review of a box sort of thing and it had to do specifically to do a review. This I did buy off their website because after seeing it I wanted to check out what they got in the December box. Um, you can subscribe or you can just buy individual boxes or you can just buy bits from the boxes so if you see something you like check the website they might have the bit individually. Can I get this off without one doing a ribbon? Nice packaging. And that is my messenger. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, does it slide? Does it open up? Oh, magnetic box. Let's see. Merry Christmas to the whole craft box. We like to wish you a wish. Wonderful Christmas time filled with lovely yummy food. So crafting time, out of craft money. 58th monthly craft box. Hmm. There gives you a list of what's in there. And a lovely postcard, it's really nice. Okay, so one top. Uh, metal embellishment, it's like a clock thing on the outside. The little cards in the packaging, it's quite nice. You can use those. Nice sticker. Let's try not to tear the paper. Um, A little bit. Oh wow, straight away these flowers. Look at those, beautiful. Look at that daisy. Okay. Sparklies and some pearls, very nice. Oh, oh wow. The shine on those, beautiful. The map that you get in it. Oh. Beautiful. It's a shame it's been cut down in the middle, obviously, because that would be really nice in the frame, to be honest. <laughs> Beautiful. Got some metal charms, cameras. I've got a few cameras and things already. This is kind of like a travel one. I've got some Statue of Liberty and got, yeah, gold and silver. I'm not sure what that is. Let's have a look. I think I might have to share some of these with my friend Pam. Because that was obviously like a London cab. map of somewhere. Is it America? Can't quite tell. 
of the cameras. Binoculars as well. Very cool. Compass rose. Another one of those. Very nice. Move that to one side. The necklace. Hmm. Well, it's nice, I suppose. It's a bit chunky for my taste. But the charm might make a nice addition to something. Beautiful lace. I don't have this lace, can we? Oh, wow. How's the parliament? <laughs> I like that. Oh, wow, look at these. Free drink, admit one, admission ticket, capital city cinema. I like these tickets. I love ticket ephemera. Door prize. Drop this stub in box. Little postcards. Oh, these are lovely. Very, very nice. Oh, see you look on ashore. What have you bought for me? Okay. For you. Okay. So I'm going to put the embellishment there. Quickly try and put these back in. Please. Not glow please. Not glow for the clock on it. World time. <laughs> Little journaling card. And a map. A globe. Another little journaling card. This is nice. Druggists. Mark and selling them all. Washington. Ooh. Cool. Bad for all the get stuck to everything like that. Let's move them to one side. Now oh, these are back. Great. <laughs> Little cabochons with bits of maps in them. Like that. Oh wow. Traveller's notebook little at least stickers. Chipboard. Oh, 
find the side chip. Ooh. Snip art stencil. I like that. It's very nice. And then a small pile of papers. Six by six. It's got two covers on it. Very strange. That's really nice. Oh, it's double sided. You hold it. Mm -hmm. No. Of London based ones, which is nice. Paris. Hmm. Never been to Paris. Been to France. Never Paris. What's this? Map of a bit of Europe. Germany. Oh. Why not? Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Lovely. And some words. About travel. Very nice. That's lovely. Yes, yeah, so I'm very impressed with this little haul. I wasn't sure if it would be a different quality to the one that, um, what's her name? Is it Stacy? Pink Poodle Graph. I, think, I don't know if she got sent that. Like I say, this with the intention that she would review it and I don't know if she actually bought it or yeah but I am going to enjoy using these so I think actually I'm probably going to use them to make my next mission inspiration journal that's what I think my bills out, sorry. Yeah. I think some of these go nicely on the cover. Maybe that and put a little something in there. Nice frame on the front. Yeah, so I'm gonna put all the details below for where I got this from and I will include the price as well down there. I can't remember exactly how much it was right now but I will research it and put it in the bottom so you can see and as I say they don't just sell the boxes this if you I don't know really like the stamp you might be able to buy the stamp on the website just have a look it's a UK company as well so I didn't have to pay a lot for postage um, if you subscribe it is I think it does work out cheaper overall but I just wanted to try it um, and you can kind of, they give you a little, not a description as such, but a little idea of what might be in the box. They did say that there was going to be a map, a vintage map, which there is. And things like that. So you can see if it sounds attractive to you, you can buy the box. If you think it's something you're going to use. Um, so yeah. I hope that was useful to you if you're thinking about getting a subscription to something like this. Um, this is the only one in the UK I know. The only craft one in the UK that I know. So if anyone knows of any more, um, 
you can let me know in the comments. Uh, may even try another one. Um, or if there's one, uh, there's one called Snack Box. Art Snacks, Art Snacks, I think. But I don't know if they're exclusively American. Or if it would cost a lot to get it over here. So if you do know anything about any other art boxes, please do let me know. I would love to hear from you. Um, thank you all for watching. And I hope this video was useful for you. And enjoyable. <laughs> and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.